Okay, uh, this section we're going to show you how to install the lights uh, to the HP Q1. Uh, you should get uh, three set of the re uh, regular lights and three set of the regular lights. So you have six lights, um, red and white uh, for most of uh, your orders. And then uh, on your part, you need to have the uh, cutter, you need the nylon batteries, a razor, and uh, some wire tie. You need about eight wire ties and uh, lighters and this side on this side here we are giving you the, um, the, the the battery clips and you have also the two string wraps so this is included with the uh, the six lights uh, kit that you have and you need to provide your own um, five items here okay so uh, for us to mount the light you, you should get something like this uh, when you get them in the uh, package so all you need to do is just use a razor blade and cut from the top portions about maybe a quarter of an inch in and strip them down straight down all the way into the bottom but uh, also another a quarter of an inch away from the, the very end. So you do all four of this, the same thing over here and stop over here. You don't need to cut all the way to the bottom, so do not cut all the way to the bottom, just slide them on the top only, okay? On the back of this uh, strip, uh, you want to cut the entire piece out. So you take, take the entire razor and go all the way to the end of the strip, so you can remove the entire strip out. So once you remove the entire strip out on both sides of the uh, arms, it becomes something like this. So you have two rods, basically. That's why you mount the light, uh, the tail light to it. Um, the reason is that uh, the plug um, cannot go through the light, so you, you won't see it if you don't take out the, the, the string wraps. So to, in order to mount the, the, the light, um, well, first of all, let's, let's do the test on the light. So to, to do the test of what color you have on the light, you, you should come with uh, three red and three white. Uh, that's normal uh, ordering of the kit. So, the um, if you look, notice there's a silver side and there's a gold side of the uh, wire. The gold side is a is a negative, which is this this big end of the caps, and the and the silver side is should be on the positive, which is this end of the caps. So when you put it in like this, you can see the light is on. So this gives you the the color coding of the uh, the light to test. So if, if it's a white one, you can see it's real bright. So pull this out a little bit, strip this out a little bit out. So you can see it's real bright white. So once you're able to test out and, and um, associate the, the three different uh, color, so now you want to mount the lights. Mounting the light onto the unit is real simple. Now, since you already have stripped out the, uh, the yellow side, it'll be something like this. So all you need to do is just insert the light onto it. Clip on like this, so the light will go into the rods. Um, you do it on both front end of the light systems. And then on the tail light systems, um, since you already have removed the string wrap, you can just go ahead and also place them into the gutters. So you do that to the two arms. Now on the front uh, head headlights, uh, what I did is that um, I mount the, the light on the bottom uh, along the uh, baseboard of the metal plate. Along the, and then you have two wire tie. One wire tie is going uh, around the, the rods. So all you need to do is, on the bottom of this, put a hole onto the plastic, the shrink wrap side. So once you put a hole, you can, you can begin to um, insert your wire tie into it, and then you can just wrap around the, uh, the tubing on the front, front end of the tubing. So the other end of the, uh, the second wire tie is going to the, the light bar. So you, you need to insert the, the second one into the light bar on one, uh, on the, between the first and the second light, something like this here. So you just need a wire tie them, and then now you can able to insert along the, the little uh, 
O-rings. So when you, when you tie this one, don't tie it too tight. So you can able to insert the second wire tie into it and then you can secure uh, both at the same time. You do that to the other side and also to the tail side too. So that's how you mount the front light and the tail lights. So that's how, how uh, most people run on the, on the recommendation of the lights. You don't have to put them like, exactly like what I did um, to, the, to the arms of the HP Key one You can mount the light any way you wish um, for the lighting systems. Uh, and then once you mount the light into the, between the, the rods, now you run into the wires. So the wire has a, has a real long length. I think it's uh, about, uh, probably about three feet. So you don't need that much wires. So all you need to do again is uh, poking the wire through the, all, any hole you can find on the baseboard. Just poke it right in there and then now it, it'll insert into the bottom and you just pull out from the bottom side. So you can cut off whatever length you want to put your battery packs. Um, I do recommend maybe once you insert it, leave it about maybe uh, between three to seven inches long. So in case you can move the light around uh, if you wish. Um, I mount this um, because I want it to be short. So between three to four, three to seven inches uh, from the out outcome of the baseboard where your wire should be. And then once, once you light the, uh, the, the length and you just you know, cut it out. So once you cut it off from the uh, from the wire, the remaining wire, you don't need it. So you just cut it out like this. You just throw it away the other portion. And um, once you run all the six light together, make sure that they all go into the same hole. If you notice, all my wires are coming into the same hole. Or in, in the same location when you flip, flip it up on the upside down portion of the uh, HPQ1. So that's how you mount the lights. Now, once you have all the wire uh, are dangling out from the, uh, from the uh, mounting, so you, now is the time that you need to um, get the, all the six wire together. So you have six pair of wires. Uh, I'm gonna cut out uh, two pair right now for you to see it. Uh, cutting out the wire, you just strip the middle of it and then pull it out about, I would say maybe a little bit over an inch between one, one inch to one and a half inch. So um, use about half an inch and then strip this out. Oh, sometimes you might have over strip and then it'll, it'll, it'll cut. So you might make it a little shorter. That's why it's good to have a little uh, longer wires. So in case you, you do uh, cut out the, the metal parts, then you can have some spare to save you with. So you want to leave it about maybe half an inch um, of wiring. So let's do the second one. Uh, I want to show you how to connect them, all six of them together. I'm just doing two at the same time. Cut out the small head first. I, I almost forgot. Because the small head actually um, is, is, has solder joined to it. Cut out the small heads out, and then now you can strip half an inch into the plastic. Now you notice there are gold and, and silver. Um, so you want to pair up all the gold together. So gold go to uh, pair up with the gold and then the silver go pair up with the silvers. So instead of two right now, you should have six of them uh, right at this moment to do all the join together. So once you have six of them uh, uh, cut and then all you need to do is just wind them together. You don't need any soldering. Uh, it's not critical that you need to solder. But if you, have a, if you know how to solder, then you can solder together the wires. But uh, this is something real simple, you don't need soldering. So you just twist the wire together, all six of them, instead of two. I'm, I'm just showing you right now for two uh, as a demo. So once you wire on this portion of it, so you leave it alone once you have all six wires. And now this is another uh, item that we're giving to you, uh, the, the battery clips. So again, uh, cut the middle of it out. You split them, the wires about one to one and a half inch. And now you, you um, strip off half an inch away from the head and strip off half an inch away from the head. Now you can connect to this portion. Now remember, silver go with the red. Go, go with the black. Go is your negative. So before you actually connect the, uh, the power connector to it, we give you the two uh, spring wraps. 
So that's where you uh, want to mount the, uh, you want to insert the spring wrap into it first, into the, the side with all your uh, six uh, wires. And then now, remember the silver go with the red. So the silver go with the red. So you just connect all six of the wire with the red uh, wire of the connectors. So once you strap them again to it, and all you need to do is just um, bend this into half and then bend them again into another half. And now you can just hold, uh, go in between the wires, between the open end of the wires uh, with your shrink wraps and you just need to heat it up. So once you heat it up, and it'll, it'll melt into it. So now this allows you to um, connect the wire without uh, soldering. So you do it to the other end as well, to the, to the um, gold and the, and the black side as well. So this allows you to connect um, onto the six light strip that you already mount into the HPK one. Now the battery packs, you make sure you get, um, I throw a cell and energizer is good, but I do recommend to get a lithium battery pack. It's called the um, Ultra Life um, or Energizer um, Titanium. Uh, get one of those uh, to power all the light. It, it, you get uh, a lot brighter uh, with those uh, lithium battery instead of alkalines. Um, uh, Nibel batteries. Um, I'm not sure, sure about the duration of the time, uh, but it will last you for a while. So you can mount the battery packs on the side. If you have, uh, you can actually strip, put another um, wire tie around the, the, the legs area, or you can actually strap them along with the battery packs. So you can have the original battery inside here first, and then now you can, you can actually strap them along with the original battery packs. So now you don't have to use a, a wire tie to uh, tie the battery separately. And that's how, that's how you do the wiring of the lighting systems.